Hey everyone, welcome back to Pajama Crafts where I do crafts in my pajamas. Today I have three Dollar Tree Easter DIYs for you guys. This video is a collab with April from April Ladere Shares and Kat from According to Kat. We decided to do some uh, spring or Easter Dollar Tree DIYs for you guys. So make sure to go check out their channels um, when you're done watching this video. If you have not yet subscribed to them, be sure to do that too. They do really awesome farmhouse um, and rustic style DIYs and they love to do the Dollar Tree and trash the treasures and all that kind of fun stuff. You're really going to love their channels and I will have those linked below in the description for you guys. So for this first DIY, I finally was able to find a few of these in my Dollar Tree. There's literally like three in there and I got really excited because I thought maybe we were getting the craft aisle, but I don't think that's the case at all. I think they just got a few of these, but I picked it up and then I made a little um, stencil using some Dollar Tree contact paper with my Cricut. And if you want to know how I make these, I will leave my video link below of where I showed you guys how I made these stencils or how I make these with my Cricut. Um, it's really simple if you have a Cricut. If you don't, go ahead and use whatever stencil you have or you could even just do this by hand. Uh, this one's kind of supposed to look like a little bit um, I guess I would say imperfect, so why not just use regular handwriting <laughs> anyway? Um, this font is called Chicken Scratch, and I will have the link in the description for the SVG if you want to use it with your Cricut. So after I filled in my stencil with my ink Waverly chalk paint, um, once it was dry, I just peeled that off, and then I took my Posca paint pen, and just outline the edges of this. These are my favorite paint pens so far. I haven't tried all of them yet, um, but I just love these. They are just so, I don't know, they're not messy. I don't know how to explain it, but I just really, really like them. And then I am just taking some of my truffle Waverly chalk paint and distressing the edges a bit and a little bit in the middle but mostly around the edges and I think this little sign just turned out so cute and goes so well with my other projects that I'm doing today. So for my next DIY I just got one of those planters from Dollar Tree that are so popular and decided to put my own little spin on it. I used some ivory chalk paint. I like to use ivory when I'm doing more of a shabby chic look especially with my old music paper. I think it just goes better than the pure white color so I just covered this thing twice and then I did end up having to go back later and painting a little bit around the edges of the inside because you will kind of see that with this DIY. Next I have these two hanging signs from Dollar Tree and I ended up using five of the eggs from this. Brie was actually at daycare when I did this sign. She started to go to daycare at my mom's once a week and she absolutely loves it and I like that she gets to socialize and it also gives me a chance to be able to do a little bit more DIYs for you guys. So I was able to use my hair dryer since she wasn't sleeping or there to be scared of it and I uh, was able to remove those stickers really easily from the back. Then I'm just taking some old sheet music that I found um, at a thrift shop. If you guys have been watching my channel for very long, you know that I love using this all the time. And yes, my book is dwindling and I don't know what I'm going to do when it's gone. I'm going to have to find something, but I'm sure you guys can find something similar to this at a thrift shop. You can use regular book pages too, and you can coffee stain them or tea stain them to make them look old. There's a lot of different options. I'm just using some Mod Podge to attach these and then I did cover the tops with Mod Podge too once they had dried a little bit. Next, after the Mod Podge had dried, I'm using my Distress Ink from Hobby Lobby and you can probably get this at other craft stores too. But I just like to put it a little bit around the edges and I rub it out with my finger. It is a little bit greasy, kind of like stains. You might want to use a glove if you don't want to have your hands stained for a little bit. Um, but I just like to kind of smear that around. It only works like this if you have used the Mod Podge. Then you can kind of smear it out. Um, otherwise, you would want to use a different method for distressing. 
Once the paint on my planter had dried, I just took some sandpapers over the letters and then a little bit more of that Truffle Waverly chalk paint all around just dry brushing and with a very dry brush and um, just giving it a little bit more dimension and making it look older and more antique. And then this is where I realized I had to go back and paint a little bit on the inside because that part will be showing too a little bit. So after my eggs were all dry, I just took some twine from Dollar Tree and wrapped it around and tied a little bow on the front. I only did it on three of the eggs. You could do it on all of them or you could do lace or ribbons or flowers or whatever you like. This is just what I had on hand and I think it turned out cute. I got some of the Excelsior, I believe it's called, from Dollar Tree and just fluffed that up in my planter and arranged my eggs until they looked the way that I liked them and this one was done. Let me know in the comments if you guys are more into shabby chic or farmhouse decor and which videos you enjoy more. I'm still going to do some of both but I like to know um, your feedback and what you guys are enjoying on my channel. If you're coming over from April or Kat's channel, welcome. My name is Sarah. I love to do farmhouse and shabby chic DIYs, Dollar Tree, Trash to Treasure, whatever I have on hand. I like to do it on a budget, and that's what you'll find here on my channel. For my last and favorite DIY, I have this mailbox that I got at Dollar Tree around Christmas time. I believe they had some around Valentine's Day too, so hopefully you guys still have some on hand. And I'm sure these are pretty cheap to pick up anywhere um, when they have them out. I'm not sure. Anyway, <laughs> I've seen them at Walmart before too. So that would be a good place to look if you don't have one and you're trying to find one. But... I just went ahead and used that same ivory chalk paint in the Waverly brand and I just painted over this um, mailbox and I had to do two paints to cover up those bright Christmas colors and next I just um, have these doilies from Dollar Tree. They're the paper ones. You could use a cloth one too they have if you don't have these at your Dollar Tree but I already decided to try to stain these with coffee I've never done it before and I really liked how it turned out so I just poured some coffee into this pan and I was in a hurry to get this video done in time so I stuck my doilies in here while the coffee was still very hot so sorry that it's a little out of frame but I was trying to poke it down in there without burning myself and holding the camera in the other hand. <laughs> but basically what I did is just completely dip this under. I didn't leave it to soak or anything. I just dipped it in and then um, with Zach's bright idea, because I wasn't sure if I just laid it on a plate or something, if it would stick and then rip when I tried to take it off. So we put it on some plastic wrap and that mm -hmm. worked perfectly and it dried so easily and fast and you'll see what I did with it here in a little bit. Now I found this sign at Dollar Tree. They're pretty popular I think this year and last year maybe and I just pulled the bunny off of it and of course I saved the sign to do something with later um, but I just decided to use some more of those music sheets and cover up this bunny. This time I just ripped up some pieces and mod podged them right onto the bunny and then once everything was dry I cut around the form. Um, I didn't want to make it, I didn't want to try to cut everything out perfectly. I wanted to use my scraps on this one and not waste anything so that's why I tore this one all up and I think he came out really cute too. So again with the Mod Podge, I've been using this a lot in this video, but I got my doily once it was completely dry and just put some Mod Podge on the back side of it. Um, they have the different sizes and I picked the second to the smallest and I just put Mod Podge all over it and I had to work pretty quickly so that it would not dry onto the <laughs> um, surface where I was adding the Mod Podge or like on my work surface which is a mess sorry about that but that's probably just how it's always going to be with me because when I'm crafting stuff just gets everywhere but here I am with my bunny and I'm just cutting around once the um, paper and Mod Podge was all dry and I kind of like that it's a little bit 
um, not perfect around the edges makes it seem more shabby chic and vintage to me um, but you could always just trace out your bunny first and use one big piece of paper to mod podge on so now just cutting off the excess of this doily there's a tiny bit still overlapping the edge that I couldn't completely get and I just ripped that off a little bit and then I'm um, using some more distress ink all over my bunny to get him looking more vintage and old and I apologize for being out of frame a little bit I'm still getting used to my new setup but hopefully you guys can see what I'm doing or kind of get the gist of it next I just hot glued him right onto my um, <laughs> mailbox I keep forgetting what a mailbox is called it's kind of late and I'm really tired, but I just want to get this video up for you guys and I'm really excited about this collab. So anyway, back to the DIY. I'm using some lace that I have from Hobby Lobby and I think it's so pretty and shabby chic. It's little hearts and I just used some more of that Distress ink and hot glued it on there. And then I have these strings of pearls from Hobby Lobby. It's just $2 for a whole roll. They are so pretty. If you like Shabby Chic, I would definitely invest in some pearls because they just add that Shabby Chic vintage touch that just looks so pretty. So then lastly, I'm just adding some more of that Excelsior grass stuff from Dollar Tree into the inside just a little bit towards the front. And I went ahead and added some eggs that I made in a previous video that are Dollar Tree eggs as well. And I will leave the link for that video too so you guys can watch how I did those if you want to. But I think it just came out so cute. You could even add a little saying on the doily like towards the other side of the uh, mailbox. You can do so much with this and I just think it came out adorable. Speaking of adorable, this picture of Brie with her daddy holding hands is just the cutest thing I've ever seen. Good job! You did it! You're getting so good at using your spoon! Look, you have a bite on there! One spoon for Brie, one spoon for Mommy to feed her. Oh wow, good job. What are you eating? You say oatmeal? Oatmeal? Is that your overnight oats? Oh, when you can't get it off, you gotta just resort to grabbing those blueberries right off the spoon. Huh. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Let's finish up, huh? Mommy will help ya. Yeah, I'll help you. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more DIYs like these. Don't forget to check out April and Kat's channels and see what they came up with. I can't wait to go watch. Thanks for watching and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!